While most Americans who decided to watch the Super Bowl did so for entertainment, some terminally online conservatives like Charlie Kirk and Candace Owens used it as an opportunity to pander to their audiences. All right, so uh, <laughs> who are the pan pander bears of the day? As I mentioned, Charlie Kirk and Candace Owens. Why don't we start off with Ch Charlie Kirk, who had um, some comments in regard to the halftime show, which I thought was very good. I enjoyed the halftime show as a native Angelino, um, as someone who felt a lot of nostalgia hearing some of that music. I thought it was fantastic, but not Charlie Kirk. No, no, no. He's concerned about, yep. You guessed it, sexual anarchy, writing on Twitter. <laughs> the NFL is now the league of sexual anarchy. This halftime show should not be allowed on television, said the man who claims that censorship is a big problem in this country, especially when it comes to um, any censorship that impacts messaging that he dislikes. But when it comes to a halftime show, we should censor that apparently. Yeah, that's true, but there's two parts of this that I found hilarious. First is the hilarious part. Sexual anarchy. What does that even mean? Where where was the sexual anarchy? Do we have pictures of the people who performed? Yeah, so let's take a look. Is he referring to Mary J. Blige? Maybe the boots? It like maybe stirred something up in him. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I don't know if he's got a, that fetish or something. But the dress, the the dancers are like more dressed than any dancers I've ever seen. Yeah, that's a really good point. <laughs> like, so where's okay? So then. Maybe he's talking about the 50 cent moment. The 50 cent hanging upside down with a very round face. I don't know if that's what does it for him. It's graphic five. Let's okay. Oh my God. That. Oh, there you go. Okay. Maybe that's a thing that that he's into there and looks was. at it and goes like that's. It looks. He feels like he's looking forward to sexual anarchy. <laughs> it hasn't quite arrived yet, but like maybe he sees Foodie hanging upside down like that and he's like, that's it, anarchy. Yeah. Of Look, the sexual sort. To be fair to Charlie Kirk, there was dirty dancing, and someone does need to be placed in a corner as a result, okay? No, oh, like, I that's, see. Okay. No, I mean, look, he got a lot of attention after he said sexual anarchy the first time. And so part of this is, yes, pandering to his audience, but a huge part of it is there's a big event happening. Everyone's talking about it, everyone's paying attention to it. How can I capitalize on it? How can I do it for attention? And that's what he does. So I just just watch this. Like, no one can just watch the Super Bowl. If you're a public figure, like, you have to be on a social media platform sharing your thoughts the entire time, or else you don't exist. Like, well, that gets to the other two things that I yeah. wanted to mention. One is that I think he wrote this tweet before halftime. Mm. And he was going to write this no matter what. Mm -hmm, you're right. And it doesn't, it didn't matter what the halftime show was going to be. To your point, Anna, about how he got a lot of attention for it last time. He's like, oh, me being this level of dumb apparently entertains people, yeah. so I'll do it again. And so what was in the halftime show was irrelevant to that tweet. Um, and so he probably was a little disappointed that it wasn't, uh, you know, enough anarchy uh, yeah. <laughs> of the sexual variety. Uh, but the second part of it is why though this? So would he have written, pre-written that tweet or written in the middle if it was country music? Well, you know he wouldn't have, right? And even if they had far more scantily clad women on, he wouldn't have written that tweet because he's trying to appeal to a certain demographic. <laughs> so why is he hate tweeting against this particular halftime show? Because it's rap. So he knows his audience is gonna hate the black people on stage and they're not gonna care about anything but criticizing them. So they're gonna be like, "Oh yeah, goddamn rappers and their sexual anarchy. Way to go, Charlie Kirk. And that's why he does it. He would have never done it to white country singers and everyone knows that. Yeah, and I'm also curious if his viewers are genuinely concerned about the over sexualization of anything, right? Because he sounds like this like stuffy old conservative guy who mm -hmm. condemns any type of like, oh, this is provocative dancing and I can't have it. But then like behind the scenes is like meeting up with prostitutes. You know, I'm just saying. Well, like, I don't know if he lives on an ice shanty, <laughs> right. thereby making it more possible. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, but they have workers. sex on the mind. I mean, right wingers have sex on the mind way more than left wingers. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy because. 
As I was watching that halftime show, the only thing that I could think about was, oh my God, this music is taking me back to like when I was a teen. Like it brought back nostalgia. I wasn't hyper focused on whatever he thinks is sexual anarchy. Um, but well, by the way, that's another thing. Yeah. What the hell does that mean? I, I don't know. I don't know what that means. I mean, like, it might be interesting, but I don't know what it means. Fun. I mean, I, what it, okay, hold on. So. What's the opposite of sexual anarchy? Is it the government getting super involved in like what kind of sex acts we're allowed to do as consenting adults? Is that yeah, if you're an enormous believer in freedom, why would you care what kind of sex we're having? And whether it whether it's follows the rules or like anarchy is not constrained by the rules. What are the rules of sex that we're supposed to follow, Charlie? And why do you care about our sex lives? The right wing was losing its mind over the green M&M no longer wearing sexy stilettos. Oh, they're obsessed like, with sex. And and so and you want to talk about freedom brothers, you don't mean it. If you say, "Hey, any part where you say this is how you should have sex is means you don't believe in freedom at all and you're a joke and your whole ideology is a joke." Thanks for watching The Young Turks. So really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.